50 days from Lions versus the Chiefs, and football fodder is valuable, right? We're going to play a little game. ESPN has a future ranking, essentially grading the next three years what your team's future looks like. 1 to 32. Who's got the best three-year outlook? Who has the worst and everything in between? We're going to go around the room, let you guys guess. Obviously, we'll reveal where the Lions are. Don't guess the Lions, and we'll have a conversation about it. So think about teams you're interested in. I'll ask you, hey, who do you think has top spot? Who do you think has bottom? And we go from there. And it grades draft capital, roster, stars, salary cap, everything. It's it, Think of it as a doctor's appointment and health prognosis for your next couple years of life. David, horrendous music, please. Tremendous, Tony. All right, let's just start with the worst. Who do you believe, according to ESPN, has the worst, bleakest, lousiest outlook the next three years in the National Football League? Let's. Kenny has already taken the microphone. So I was about to say, I got it, but go ahead, Kenny. Oh, I was going to guess. I had two in my mind. I'll, I'll go with the Texans, though. Texans for Kenny. Rico. I'm going to go with the Arizona Cardinals because they are stuck with that quarterback for the next five years. And we're off to a good start, boys. Rico wins. Uh, it is a total dumpster fire. You have Kyler Murray out with an ACL, <laughs> gone for the year. You replace the GM. You're paying the coach until 2027. One problem, he lives in Thailand now. Uh, I mean, it was kind of like, you know, when I did the deep dive, like, how could the Tigers get Otani? I'm like, can the Cardinals get rid of Kyler Murray? Yeah. No, they cannot. Oh, and your owner is under investigation for misdeeds. The one thing they have, some draft capital. Uh, Kenny, to get to Houston here, just to answer your question, Houston's tied for 29th. You weren't far off. All right, so let's do this. How about Matthew Stafford? We talked about it yesterday, how the Rams were not happy with Matthew Stafford because he didn't want to renegotiate that deal. F them picks. They had all kinds of injuries. What is the health of the Rams the next three years? I got to think that the Rams are in the bottom five. Okay, bottom five for Rico, so 27 to 32. Kenny? I'll go low, mid-20s. Okay. Rico's 2-0. and oh. They're 28th. The Rams have the 28th brightest future. <laughs> Had to make up from yesterday. <laughs> You're off to a good start, and here's the thing. Even with but coaching. Blunt. <laughs> do you know? Do you know where they rank Sean McVay as a coach? I found this to be surprising. 19th. Yeah, the boy genius ain't looking so genius anymore. Oh, <laughs> All right. So here's what I want to do. Now, you guys, pick a team you're interested in. Pick a team you think you know where they are. We'll go around the room. Do you want me to start with David Steelers and get out of the way? Okay. Now, David, you've looked at the list. It's why you're not participating. I skimmed it, yeah. Okay. Ken I was wondering how come he's not saying anything. Kenny and Rico, where do you think the Steelers are? Young quarterback, but they got a great system that always seems to find ways to win. I'm going to put the Steelers probably between 12, 17. 12 to 17 for Rico. Kenny. I was going to guess exactly the number 16 because they're always good. They're never out of it. They're, they're never, never that bad. They have a, they're they never have bad. the foundation, though. You're right. Haters. I'll say 16. Haters. Guys, you're going to be very surprised. Haters. And David is going to be very, very happy. The Steelers come in at number seven. Seven what? Overall for the next three years. They grade their roster minus the quarterback, number nine. They grade the quarterback, number 22. I, David, I said it to you yesterday. I think Pickett could step forward. Tomlin graded as the third best coach, ninth in draft capital, seventh in front office. They are seven overall. Wow. They get anything out of Kenny Pickett. They're bouncing right back to being an annual playoff team. All right. Rico Beard. Can I ask about one before we get to Rico? Yeah, of course. What about the Bears? Where do they have the Bears with Justin Fields? <sighs> Hold, please. I apologize for the slight delay. Okay, your Chicago Bears. Can I say venture a guess? Uh, 19. Okay. Yeah, I was going to go 20. Kenny, he's got it out for you. The Bears are 21st. Wow. <laughs> but you're both right on right. point. Now, here's where their grades come in. And this is what we've always talked about. We love Justin Fields. Mm -hmm. Their roster stinks. 
Roster minus quarterback, 27th. The quarterback, this is to me controversial. Where do you think they have Fields ranked? Hmm. 10th. Say 10th. Yeah, I was going to say 10 as well. 11. You both get sprinkles. All right. 11. <laughs> Man, you all are good at this game. I know. <laughs> Coaching 23. Like Blunt. <laughs> draft capital 5. Front office 22. All right. Let's go Rico Beard's life of privilege. The San Francisco 49ers. Now, David, if you don't remember where they are, you can guess. Otherwise, I'll leave it to Kenny. Kenny, do you want to venture a guess on Rico's privileged existence? They're privileged, so it's got to be top 10. I'll say they have, where did where was David Steelers at? Seven. I'll go eight. Okay. I feel very happy for Kenny Cott because they're eighth. You guys, this is good. Right. You guys are good. Crazy. Uh, Garrett Blunt. The roster minus the QB, fourth. Here's what I think is, this is, I don't agree with this. Quarter, where do you think they have the quarterback position of this team ranked? Rico. It must be low, so 27th. Yeah, I was going to say like 25. How about 17th? Just Coaching the, two. The disrespect. Draft capital, you spent it all, 26th. Front office, 13th. Okay. Let's go before we get to the Lions and divisional teams. Let's go my Giants. I'm not allowed to guess. Gentlemen, you've been on fire. Where are the New York football Giants the next three years, according to ESPN? Yeah. How good do they think Daniel Jones is going to be the next couple of years? You want to guess the quarterback rank first? And no, then reverse no. because I have no concept of that. I was going to say 15 and keep it I was going to say, neutral. what's your draft capital looking like? 21st. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to put the G-man probably 17th. Yeah, this is the one I don't know. So I'm going to go 25th is my guess. D D David, David, this is the upside-down world. These guys are on fire. Giants are tied for 17th. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is going on? And by the way, Danny Dimes, I think, is overrated at 15th. Um, <laughs> Dayball got the nod, though, at 11th for coaches. All right. Let's go NFC North for the people, shall we? Yeah. You want Minnesota? You want Green Bay? You want the Lions? What do you want? I want Minnesota. Hey, I want Minnesota, neighbor. <laughs> How did he do? <laughs> All right. The Vikings the next three years. Where? What does their future look like, gentlemen? Give me 23. I don't think they're going to be that good. No, I think it's going to be a little higher than that. I'm going to go 13th. I'm speechless. They're 23rd. <gasps> hey! Oh, wow. This okay. is unbelievable. Right. You know what? Can I, get, can I get the Powerball numbers, please? <laughs> I know. Um, no, okay, we're going to split a ticket. Here's what it comes down to. Roster, outside of Cousins, 24th. That aging defense, the salary cap, they got rid of Dalvin Cook. Where's Cousins? I figure Cousins is probably... Dead middle, 16. Yeah, I was going to say 16 or 17. He's 17. All right. This is unbelievable. I mean, I'm happy, but, like, it's kind of scary. You're so bad at some of the other games, but you're fantastic at this. All right. The Green Bay Packers, gentlemen. Next three years. Franchise future. Where are the Packers, according to ESPN? This is the head scratcher because they are truly starting all over. How good do they think love's going to be? 18? I was going to say 18 as well, Kenny. All right, let's lock in at 18, Rico. Okay. Thank God. 14th. <laughs> Still not uh, that far off, though. I'll, I I'll thought this was the interesting one. The roster outside of the quarterback. And remember, all the first-round picks they've spent on defense, etc. Do you know what the roster's ranked? 18th. Jordan Love. 25th, where they get the nod is front office, top 10, draft capital, top five, coaching, 13th. Okay, boys, the moment of truth. Your Detroit football Lions, their future the next three years, according to ESPN, where does it rank? Hmm. Confusing where they have David's team ranked because I didn't expect the Steelers to be that high. Right. So if that's the case, then the Lions must be higher than Factor I in. was going to say somebody dropped out that they don't think is going to be in, like, the top 10. So I'll say 11. Still up there, but a lot to prove. Okay. 
I'm going to say they cracked the top 10. I'm going to go nine. They're 11th. Oh! It, he's like a savant. The roster minus quarterback is 14th. Now, here's the fun part. Kenny is praying to the God of LeGarrette Blunt. Jared Goff <laughs> ranking. You know what? If Cousins was 16, well, Cousins was what, 17, 16? So I'm going to go with Goff is 17. Say 14. Jared Goff, 10th. Wow. A top 10 quarterback, people. That is your ESPN future forecast football today.